Alright, hey everybody, uh, Zach here, and uh, we're just going to jump right in. I don't know if it auto-saved in the right spot, so either way, uh, I'll play through the last minute or so, it doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, here we are. Now, I have played this game before, so I do know what happens, like I know the whole story and all that, but I haven't played it in a really long time. And I'm playing it on the PC. The first time I played it, I played it on the Xbox. And, uh, yeah. So, it's, it's a lot different. A lot, a lot different. Oh, shit. Turn my ringer off. Thirsty. Ah. Fuck. My leg. Did he have his gun out? Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. He's not moving. He must have the handcuff keys on him. He must have the handcuff okay. keys on him. There's a shotgun is over there. Officer? God damn. Officer? Alright, well I guess I can't get the handcuff keys now. Not, a, not even a possibility right now. Why would he have needed that? Okay, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, uh, it wouldn't have been so hard if he just Looks grabbed empty. the handcuff keys, but nah, 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 can't do that now. Nah. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs. Oh, wow, now, okay. Alright, cool. Damn. All right, well. There we go. Now I got it. Really? Shit. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> need to do both, you can just leave one on. Okay. Officer. Oh my god. Holy <laughs> shit. Shotgun will be on my left. Yeah. Get away from me. Come on, man. Shoot it. That's me kidding me. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kill him. Nice.
One thing I do notice about this game is it looks way better <laughs> on the PC. Hey, look at that. Alright. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? I think that was... What? Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? Really? Help! Go get someone! There, there's been a shooting! Alright, well, uh, how do I get the hell out of here? Because, uh, I don't like that sound. So, uh, could I not? No? Does not sound good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god, there's almost never one. Come on, dude. Nice. Hello? Anybody? Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't. Anybody up there? No. Hello? Anybody in there? Right. Oh, let's uh, examine the tea set real quick. Help! Well, you didn't need to scream. I can fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Nice. Uh, the great thing to think about in you know the apocalypse is uh, d alcoholism. It's awesome. Great going. And your leg's broken. You you shouldn't even be thinking about that in the first place. You're thinking about some medical help. For getting a drink of water. But, you yeah, know, whatever. I wonder if anybody's home. Alright, okay, well. It's fine. Hello? Now. Anybody home? I need a little help. Let's get fingerprints all over the screen door. Let's go find some Windex, clean that up. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder, or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. If you guys have... Okay. Alright. Well. If you guys have never played this game, um, I'm not going to spoil it like halfway through or right now or anything like that. So, uh, I was just letting you guys know. I'm not going to do anything like that. Three new messages. Message one. Left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. 
Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2. Left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, nice. I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. This 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. <laughs> How did you get okay? This. Knew it. I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. No, I'm not. Well, that's not the right question to ask, but uh, I'll go with where are your parents? Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, cute. <laughs> oh my god, where is she? Damn. Come on, dude. Give me the hammer. Give me the hammer. Give me the hammer. Bash a skull in. Ooh. God. Okay, I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um, I guess we need to find uh, help no, before it gets dark. Wanna... Oh shit! Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Not the one I picked. Not the one I wanted to pick. Get over here. 
don't know where she went. Yeah, she's going up here. Well. Uh, uh, oh, man. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Hey, you fellas need some help? Yeah. What's God, the matter? he is just covered in blood. Stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Oh, um... I will leave you, though. Okay. Well, yeah. let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Hey man, holy shit! Don't eat us. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Uh, what's going on? Do you know what the hell this is? No well, idea. I mean, you could have just said, so "You know what's there. going on." You no need to curse. I you could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family. She's not my daughter. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm <laughs> just some guy. A neighbor. A neighbor. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. All right, I gotta remember my lies. I gotta keep track what of my lies when I'm doing. I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. All right. Let's push this bitch. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Three, two, one. Good enough. What are those guys, neighbors too? Well, I mean, don't know if traffic laws still apply when you are in an, an apocalypse, but uh, it's a little bit ridiculous. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. All right, well, uh... Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So wow. it's just you and your daughter. What a dick. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey, do you know this man? Oh, come on, dude. You fucking kidding yes. me. Thank God. Okay, then. Fuck well, you. Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Not catch me in my damn lie. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Hurts like hell. Could be worse. Could be worse. 
That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? The cities. It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Okay. Herschel uh, knows my name. This wow. Happen? Car accident. Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed? The fourth. Okay. Car accident. Fuck you, Herschel. Home. Home. Where's home? I grew up in Macon. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl. Nobody. Nobody. Is that so? Fuck. Yeah. Damn it. I said we. It is. Fuck. I made that first you mistake when I was. We. Damn it. That's all. <sighs> we got I made that first mistake when I was playing through the first time the too. Barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem, Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Uh, I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. And if your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. Uh -huh. Ugh, man. All right. All right then. Straight up, snoozed out. It smells like shit. <laughs> you know. I know what it smells like. Duty. Got him. My mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, my God. Get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? Dude. I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna go a fence. There's a tractor and everything. Duh. You better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Where do parents name their kids Duck? We're from Fort Lauderdale. We were on our way back before things up and went bananas. Bananas. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Maybe. We'll see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. He's a hard ass. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. 
Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. That's so weird. She's not from Fort Lauderdale. She doesn't sound like it. Alright. Ah! Um... Let's see what Kenny's doing. I think he just went to go, like, fix his truck or something. Yeah. Sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Okay. Hey there, uh, Kenny? Uh, Kenny? Need any help? Oh, I'm good. No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? Dude. What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. You know. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. All right. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapped. My boy. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Alright. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you're good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? So, uh... What do you do when Pretty corpses sure aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian mm, yeah, from Fort see, Lauderdale. My memory's That's coming back. Here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. <sighs> Alright. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Cool. Alright. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! <laughs> you know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Oh, right. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Good lord. Damn. Oh shit, damn. Did watch him. hesitate. There's a kid. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes. Ooh. Pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh, I had to shoot one. 
I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon, I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Oh, man. All right. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Controls are pretty weird. Anyways. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride, and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're oh. all right. Thanks. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. I'll get my gun. I'll get my gun. Um. Well, 
I mean, if you're gonna act like an asshole, Please. then I'm glad your Let's son is go. dead. So. Get out and never come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Sweet. <laughs> 